There's two compartments there. Uh, first class and second class. Depth of Travel and the Tourist. With your hosts, Johnny and Frank. Tonight we take a look at the fascinating world of travel and the people who travel. And what fascinating people they are. From the millionaire who pays $10,000 for a cruise for the privilege of being pampered for three weeks in the Caribbean to the humble man who pays $180 for a charter flight for the privilege of being stranded for three days in Toronto Airport. <laughs> what is this strange compulsion that makes people want to travel? The distinguished British explorer, Captain James Cook, had this to say. Man is a wanderer by nature, constantly piqued by curiosity, always believing something awaits him across the river, over the hill, or around the corner. Hello, sailor. Are you new in town? What did I tell you? <laughs> to begin our study of travel, let us return to the misty origins of time when cavemen roamed the earth. Oh, those far away places with strange sounding names. Yeah, hiya, sword. Hiya, Flip. <laughs> hey, what do you know? Nothing. What do you know? Nothing. Well, in the Mesozoic period, that is the sum of human knowledge. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ooh, they're dry. <laughs> do, 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 do. Say, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm packing my bag. That's what I'm doing. No, what for? Flip, you are looking at the world's first tourist. The world's first what? Tourist. So what's a tourist? How should I know? I'm the world's first one. <laughs> well, that makes sense. It does? No. So, well, what does a tourist do? Why, he travels around the world, looking at all of those fabulous places. So what fabulous places? Who knows? <laughs> Would you like to come along? Where to? I don't know. Sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, on the way, we can have a small nosh. Oh, great. Great. Let's go. Well, this is the way we're going. Oh, yeah. You sit over there, uh -huh. and I will sit over here. All right. Yeah. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice. Do, 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 Hey, Zorb. Uh, yes, Flip? Uh, what happens now? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, how long do we have to sit here? About two million years till somebody invents the internal combustion engine. <laughs> Piltdown man was never noted for his sense of humor. No one knows who exactly was the first man to travel, but we do know there were tourists hundreds of centuries ago. The ancient Egyptians traveled by barge. The ancient Romans traveled by chariot. And the ancient Greeks traveled by yacht. <laughs> it is in the Bible that we first read about travelers. There was Moses. He conducted the first tour to Israel. <laughs> but perhaps the most memorable biblical traveler was Noah, who conducted a 40-day cruise with his family and friends. Move along smartly. That's it. Keep moving. <clears throat> the two zebras. Uh, two lions. Uh, two giraffes. No, 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 no. Two snails. <laughs> two... <laughs> two skunks. Oh, my dear. How's it going? Splendidly. Are our three sons aboard the ark? Oh, yes. Shem and Ham and Jacob. Ham, what a terrible name for a Hebrew lad. <laughs> uh, two elephants, two horses, <coughs> two... Just a minute, Noah. Yes? They are not going on board. Oh, but my dear, they must. I've been given instructions, two of everything. Get rid of them. Yeah. Excuse me, <coughs> girls. 
You're gonna have to go. Shut, you said two of everything. I was only kidding. So quick to anger. 5,000 years later, cruises are still popular. Happy? Ecstatic. Cigarette. Please. Light. Thank you. Just look at that moon, Pamela. Exquisite, Roger. Somehow, under this Caribbean spell, I feel that you and I are the first ones ever to experience this enchantment. And yet... And yet? We can't be the first. How many other lovers have stood in this very spot and leaned against this very rail? How many? Too many. 